Hello, Bacho. So let's read this question. The following curve is obtained when molar conductivity lambda m is plotted against the square root of concentration c to the power half along y axis and x axis respectively for two electrolytes x and y. So, we have graph. De rakha hai. How do you account for the increase in molar conductivity for the electrolytes x and y with dilution? So, we have to the effect of dilution with increase in molar conductivity. For this, we have to molar conductivity. So, key concept. Key concept of this question will be molar conductivity. Molar conductivity of a solution at a given temperature, at a given concentration, is the conductance of the volume V of solution containing one mole of electrolyte kept between Two electrodes with area A area of cross section A and distance of unit length. L. अगर हमें mathematically इसे represent करना तो it is lambda m is equals to conductivity into area of cross section divided by unit length. हमें पता है l is equals to one because हमने unit length लिया है and a is equals to v. तो हमारा molar conductivity का formula आ जाता है. Kappa into V. Where lambda M is equal to molar conductivity. The molar conductance. Kappa is equal to conductivity. And V is equal to volume. So we strong electrolytes. Ki baat karte. For strong electrolytes, molar conductivity, which is lambda m, increases slowly with dilution. Dilution and can be represented as can be represented as. Lambda m, which is molar conductivity, is equal to lambda m naught, which is limiting molar conductivity, minus a c to the power half. So this is the relation between concentration and molar conductance in the form of equation. So lambda m is molar conductivity, molar conductance, lambda m naught is limiting molar conductance. We know limiting molar conductance. When we know limiting molar conductance, when we know dilution at infinite, when we have infinite dilution, and concentration almost approaches to zero. Limiting molar conductance. A is a constant. C is concentration. अब इसको ग्राफ अब इसको ग्राफ के हम से एक्सप्लेन करना होगा हम ये हमें वी ऑप्टेन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन 
with intercept equal to lambda n naught and slope equal to minus a. The value of constant A depends on the charges on the cation and anion. The value of the value of constant A depends on the cation and anion charges. Produced on dissociation of solution. So this is the explanation for strong electrolyte. Now moving on to the weak electrolytes. Weak electrolyte have lower degree of dissociation. At higher concentrations. In such cases, lambda n, which is molar conductance, increases steeply on dilution, especially near lower concentration. Therefore, lambda n naught cannot be obtained by extrapolation of by extrapolation of molar conductance, which is lambda n to zero concentration. So this is the explanation to the question. This is the plot for a strong electrolyte. And this is the plot for a weak electrolyte. Right? So for Johamne previously explained here, it explains just the plot. I hope you understood the question well, Mr. Fink.